This show was scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> With them just being like, alright, now, first episode, 47 minutes. Enjoy. Um, when you do something like that, it makes it feel like the rest of the show is probably only going to be uh, 12 episodes tops, you know? So, uh, if it does do more than 12 episodes, I would be very shocked but regardless this was interesting until it kind of slowed down in the second half where it just turned into your um your normal girl meets boy boy is super uh you know nervous around girl well his character was actually a little bit better than the nervous guys like when she was in the uh, bathroom with him he wasn't like freaking out and stuff like that so I give him props for standing his ground there cause <laughs> just meeting her and knowing what she's capable of is what I would more or less be scared of uh, at that point so regardless of how uh, I see it at the end of the day it makes me curious how uh, just like what is the other way the show is going to go off? Not to mention the ending is so abrupt that it makes you feel like you're just going to be stuck with this character who pretty much wasn't doing anything. But there is uh, an upside that I think could happen because of this woman and him meeting her. And that would be her blood. If her blood can make it so you can't attack her anymore, what if it was in, like, I don't know. I was just thinking about that. Like, what if it was just given to uh, somebody differently in some type of way, and because of it, you are just left with somebody who transforms because, like, or becomes like her, you know? Like, you become a white-haired person. I don't see that being the case, but... To think that she's dead and she was capable of carrying and jumping as high as she could with a 18 year old boy that's much, uh, well, wait, could you say he's much taller than her? Uh, definitely weighs like a good hundred over her and does it with no problem multiple times just carrying this dude uh, to the point where she knows she is the shield, <laughs> you know, like. I'll protect you, you just gotta live, you know, you just gotta be my partner at this point, I'll take all the blows, do not worry about a thing, that's what already kind of drew more towards that uh, title of the show, the whole, oh, this detective is already dead, especially when she announced she was the detective, I was like, bruh, so, <laughs> overall, the plane sequence was actually pretty hype, and made me want to see just like what else she was capable of just to pretty much find out that that's not gonna happen <laughs> you know like you want to see that happening nah sorry that's that's out of the question um so yeah unfortunately i do oh i completed a skull i didn't get to see that but i am not uh terribly thinking of that part carrying the show all the way through like for instance her deductive skills of being able to figure out everything before it even happened so pretty much by uh her running into the bunny and you know all trying to get the thing that they are selling and then on top of that trying uh to already have an idea of why the plane was being you know uh Hijacked? Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. Why the play was being hijacked, but she already knew he's kind of, he, like, backed out from it. He's like, he was just going to quit. Like, oh, you know what? I'm not going to hijack y'all. You, you got it. <laughs> Take your play, and uh, I'll just, you know, I don't want to die. And that was something that, you know, felt like it gave it away in the grand scheme that he wasn't going to 
fully be committed or something, or that he was the one that's going to do it. There's a lot of interesting things there, but it just comes down to the point where the only cases that are going to be interesting are the ones that end up, you know, taking her a while to figure it out. And then she ends up dying in the first episode. But this could be like a cover. We might learn a lot more about the adventures that she was on in general. And that's how we see more of the character. But regardless, I don't know. Uh, depending on how many shows are coming about, I'll have to look into that. But I am coming into a decently hard week. And if I don't post as much, that is wise. But regardless, I hope y'all are having a good one. And I'll have a good 4th of July. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.